one of the new features that has been introduced into Inventor is something that I was asked for a couple of years back by, by a client who asked, can I do a variable helix curve? And, and unfortunately, at the time, it wasn't possible. Now, uh, Autodesk has come along and, and in 2019, they've introduced that variable helix curve. So going to your 3D sketch and you click on your helical curve, you will see now that there's a, um, the interface looks a little bit different, um, as well as, um, well, with, with this the new addition of this button over here. So you've got your variable helical curve. And with your variable helical curve, uh, you're able to either specify pitch and revolution, revolution and height, or pitch and height. So what we're gonna do over here, we're gonna do pitch and height. Um, so as you read this, okay, so the, at, at the, the height equals zero, your diameter is 10, obviously there's no revolutions, which is the start point, and then your pitch is 10 millimeters. So let's go and start drawing that. So let me go and just select that point over there and draw it out over here. So the first one, as you can see on the height there, it's changing the value over there. So the first height I want to take a look at is 25. So select 25, press enter. You'll see it'll input 25 over there. The diameter 4.411 and the pitch is 10. So I can say, you know, at 25, I want my diameter to be 15. And the pitch needs to be, let's make it eight. Okay. So the pitch is getting smaller as it goes towards there. Okay, so the next one, we're gonna go click to add. Okay, the height of the year now must be say 40. Um, I actually want the diameter to go um, down. So I'm gonna go down to 7.5. Okay, and the pitch over here uh, must be, let's take it back up to 10. Okay. Then uh, you'll see there that the it'll automatically calculates how many revolutions it needs to go in there. So if I maybe do the pitch is Four, you'll see that the revolutions become bigger over there. So you can actually see how the, the, the helical curve is starting to uh, take shape. Okay, the next one I'm gonna do is, uh, let's go up to maybe 75, the diameter. Um, I want this to go up to 15. So let's make it a nice big one. Um, and then the pitch must go back up to 10. Okay, so you can see there, there's quite a nice little curve coming in. So it goes up and then down into the middle and then back up. Um, let's just take it up to 100, so a nice round 100, okay, 100, uh, the diameter, oh, now let's take it down to 3, and let's do the pitch, let's do the pitch is 8 again, okay, so there we go, um, I'm happy with that, let's click on apply and see what we've created, okay, so it's created out over there, and you'll see where the, the dimensions are placed is are placed is where I put the heights. Okay, so 10 at the start for the, the diameter, 15 diameter, where I said 25, I think. Uh, seven and a half, I think that was at, uh, let's double check, double check that. Um, that was at uh, 40 mil. Um, and then at 50, 75 mil, you had 15, which is that over there. And then right at the end, it goes down to your 100 mils, uh, the diameter of your tree limit. Okay, so you know you can even go and change the rotation as well. You can see that it gives a preview of it uh, flipping the rotation over there, and it changes the rotation of the helical curve. Um, you know, so so they're quite quite a nice little tool, very easy to use. Um, you know, Autodesk really has made a big go at, at making sort of 3D sketches uh, a, a lot easier uh, to manipulate. Um, you know, nice thing about this, so great. You know, double click on that. Oh, look at that. You know, I can change it to five you know, quickly on the. So I, I didn't actually have to go back into the wizard um, to, to be able to go and change these values over here. Um, you know, sort of 100, you know, make it one, 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 two, five, and it, it grows over there. Okay, so once again, Autodesk um, and its new releases uh, bringing something very exciting and new to the, uh, to the environment and to Inventor 2019.